from Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. As part of the first phase of technology support for the various schools around South Africa, the ShopRite Foundation facilitated the launch of two fully equipped robotics laboratories at the Mountview and Verlum High Schools in KwaZulu-Natal last month. Sabrina Jardim tells us more. The ShopRite Foundation has invested 1.6 million rand in robotics, infrastructure equipment, coursework and teaching. ShopRite Foundation Managing Trustee Morde Mudise noted that the two schools were selected to launch their robotics initiative as the Department of Education pilots coding and robotics as a school subject. So when we were at Verulam, the other school that we um, also launching the robotics lab at, the teacher then mentioned that the Department of Basic Education is actually piloting um, coding and robotics in their school for this year. And they went through training, but there was a lack of um, infrastructure and resources to carry out um, the project. So that's what sparked the idea to say, listen, why can't we be part of something so monumental that the department is basically piloting, but also um, give access or more access to the kids that are actually studying at the school, to give them access to be able to use these resources so that they're not only exposed to them later on in life, but early on in life so that they're familiar with them, that they have access to these things and are able to, to use them. So if you look at ShopRite as a whole, not just the foundation, we're very involved in bursary initiative in, in various fields, we're involved in CSI activities, we're embedded in the communities that we actually operate in. So for us, this is just the first step in the right direction, and we hope to have more initiatives that speak to education as well. The foundation commissioned Safiso Etec, a local company specializing in delivering turnkey robotics hubs, to provide the necessary infrastructure, robotics kits, teaching material and training. Sifiso EdTech, Head of Digital Learning and Technology, Ngulisa Makhrangu, noted that one of the biggest challenges faced by South African learners concerns the lack of exposure and access to the correct tools, explaining that the robotics laboratory will thus allow learners to have access to these tools. It gives them a place to test out their prototypes. Uh, it could start off with just building a simple robotic um, structure that switches the light on and off. That could be home automa uh, automation. Um, it gives them that those tools to be able to dream bigger and just play around with the technology and be familiar with it. Um, a lot of people are afraid of technology because it just seems like this really big thing. But if you've played with it and you've seen it work, you can test more things. You're open to experimenting. During a panel discussion, Mahlango explained that Sifiso needed to understand the existing infrastructure available at the schools, as well as the internet connectivity in the rooms to ensure that the laboratory would be conducive to learning. In addition to the laboratories, in-person and online training for teachers, as well as lesson plans, presentations and worksheets are also provided. So there's a whole ecosystem around coding and robotics and we make sure that we connect teachers from around the whole country. Durban University of Technology Mechatronic Engineering lecturer Tyrone Bright noted during the panel discussion that robotics education could also assist with building pupils' problem-solving skills. When it comes to students, there is a huge deficiency we see at university level and that is problem-solving skills. And that's what something like this does. It develops those fundamental skills that students need when it comes to going and living in the real world, going and working in industry, going and researching. And that's what I think is so important. The science just really comes alive. Um, you get to solve problems. A lot of the curriculum is centered around projects. So you're not just learning a skill for the sake of learning a skill, but you're actually solving a problem. Giving students access to all those resources with that lab can really change the face of the world. In addition to funding the laboratory setup, kits and teaching aids, the ShopRite Foundation also donated laptop computers and tablets to the two schools. Meanwhile, the ShopRite Group has also provided a consumer studies laboratory for the Mountview Secondary School funded by the ShopRite Foundation to encourage entrepreneurial endeavours among learners. This facility was also launched last month. Mountview High School principal Indran Govinda expressed that the new facility could help muster confidence in pupils and help provide them with the skills in the culinary field, whereby they could learn to sustain themselves. The new facility, like in any field, you know, it, it, it kind of musters confidence. It also says to learners, you know, we have good facilities where we can, we can really do something amazing. Skills training, uh, cooking or culinary skills, uh, is one way to go where these individuals will now become the creators of employment. 
where they can be, where they can sustain themselves, but also create employment. And I think if you look at the bigger picture, it's going to help our communities to feed themselves, sustain themselves. It's going to help the nation. That's Cremo Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.